Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got uh, these uh, three chords A, C, A, B, and A, D inside the circle, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, A, C chord is uh, six units long, the chord uh, A, D is uh, five units, and the chord uh, A, B length uh, is represented by X, and furthermore, uh, this uh, angle uh, B, A, C is uh, 60 degrees and this angle BAD is uh, 60 degrees as well and now our task is uh, to calculate the length uh, AB in other words uh, we need to find X value and we are not supposed to be using uh, calculators at all please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. Let's talk about uh, law of uh, cosines. And here we got uh, triangle uh, ABC, where uh, this vertex A has angle uh, alpha, vertex B has angle beta, and finally vertex C has angle uh, gamma. And the side opposite to this vertex uh, A is uh, lowercase uh, a side opposite to this vertex B is a lowercase b and the side opposite to this vertex C is a lowercase c. Then we have uh, three options uh, to apply the law of uh, cosines. If uh, we look at the first one, we are going to focus uh, on this uh, A and this angle uh, alpha and that is going to be a square equal to b square plus c square minus 2 times uh, b c times uh, cosine of angle alpha. Likewise for the second one this side B correspond to this angle beta on the other side and finally for the side C we got uh, angle gamma on the other side. And now let me go ahead and connect uh, these points uh, C and uh, D and here I have connected them and we got another chord uh, CD. And now let's make an observation we can see that this angle uh, 60 degrees uh, subtends uh, this uh, arc uh, BD and now I'm going to connect uh, this point B and uh, C as you can see in the next uh, step and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, angle uh, BCD subtends uh, the same arc uh, BD as uh, well and now let's recall the inscribed uh, angles uh, theorem inscribed angle that intercept the same arc uh, are uh, Congruent. So therefore according to this uh, given theorem uh, this angle uh, BAD is going to be equal to this uh, angle uh, BCD. If this angle is 60 degrees uh, then this angle has got to be 60 degrees as well as you can see in this uh, equation. And likewise let's focus on uh, this uh, angle uh, BAC. It uh, intercepts uh, this uh, arc uh, BC. Let me go ahead and connect uh, these points B and uh, D as you can see in this uh, next step. And now we can see that this uh, angle uh, B, D, C intercepts uh, the very same arc uh, B, C as well. So therefore according to this uh, given uh, theorem, this uh, angle uh, B, A, C is going to be equal to this uh, angle uh, B, D, C. If this angle is 60 degrees, uh, then this uh, angle has got to be 60 degrees uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, BCD. And we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since this angle is 60 degrees and this angle is uh, 60 degrees as well. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, side length uh, BC is going to be equal to this side length uh, BD. Since these side lengths uh, are uh, same, so let me label this side length uh, as lowercase m, then this side length is going to be lowercase m uh, as well. And here's our next step, let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABC, whose uh, side lengths are 6, lowercase m uh, and uh, x, and this angle is uh, 60 degrees. And now we are going to apply the law of uh, cosines uh, on this uh, triangle. Here we have a 60 degrees and the opposite uh, side is uh, lowercase m. So therefore this is going to become uh, m square equal to 
x square plus 6 square minus 2 times x times 6 times the cosine of angle 60 degrees. And now we can see that our cosine of 60 degrees is 1 divided by 2. So therefore, I'm going to replace this one by 1 divided by 2 over here. So let's go ahead and simplify. Furthermore, m square equal to x square plus 36 minus this become 12 times x times this cosine of 60 degrees is 1 divided by 2. So therefore, we ended up with the m square equal to x square plus 36 minus 6x. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 1. And now let's focus on this other triangle ABD whose side lengths are 5, lowercase m and x and the angle is 60 degrees. And we are going to apply the law of cosines on this uh, triangle as well. So therefore, I can write uh, m square equal to x square plus uh, 5 square minus uh, 2 times uh, x times uh, 5 times the cosine of uh, 60 degrees. And here once again, we see cosine of 60 degrees and we know cosine of 60 degrees is uh, 1 divided by 2. So I'm going to replace this one by 1 divided by 2 over here. Let's go ahead and simplify furthermore. m square equal to x square plus 25 minus 10x times 1 divided by 2. So therefore we are ended up with the m square equal to x square plus 25 minus 5x. Let me call this our equation number 2. So thus we are ended up with these two equations. And now let's go ahead and compare these two equations. We can see our left hand sides are identical. They are same. So therefore we can equate the right hand sides as well. So therefore I can write x square plus 36 minus 6x uh, is going to be equal to x square plus uh, 25 minus uh, 5 times uh, x. And now we can see this x square cancels out with this uh, x square on the right hand uh, side. So therefore we are ended up with the 36 uh, minus uh, 6x uh, equals to 25 minus 5x. And now let me go ahead and move this uh, negative 6x on the right hand side. And at the very same time I'm going to move this 25 on the other side as well. So therefore I can write uh, 36 minus 25 equal to negative 5x. And this is going to become plus 6x. So if we subtract this thing this is going to give us 11. And on the right hand side negative 5x plus 6x is going to give us 1x. So therefore our x value turns out to be 11 units. So thus our x value turns out to be 11 units. In other words this length AB is 11 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.